All right, hey, welcome back, everybody. We are over here at Hive number three. Just wanted to verify that. And out of all the hives that I'm inspecting, which is, you know, all the all of them that I have here, out of all the hives I'm inspecting today, this is by far the number one hive that I've been looking forward to getting into. So, like I said, number three. And the reason why I am looking forward to getting into this is because two weeks ago, 16 days ago actually, May 16th, I top supered this hive because they filled out a completely, they completely filled out a shallow super within two weeks. So I've been very curious to see how much progress they've made on the medium super I provided 16 days ago, brand new super, meaning 10 frames, new foundation, no drawn wax. That was the advantage they had with the shallow, is 9 out of the 10 frames had some kind of established foundation. Not completely established, probably 5 of those frames were like 80% drawn out and the rest needed a lot of work. And the very 10th frame, I just had a fishing line ran through it and they drew out enough wax and they used that as a... A uh, complete like brood frame really, but the rest of them slap full, top to bottom, side to side, beautiful textbook drawn frames, completely cured and capped, honey. So, again, they did that within two weeks from late April, excuse me, late April to mid-May or early May to mid-May, two weeks, added a new medium super May 16th and here it is June 1st so about 16 days later curious to see how much progress they made and that box is so I, I top super like I said so that box is directly on top of the brood chamber and the reason for that is you got the brood chamber you got the the drawn honey super up top and you got your new box in the middle the idea is you know the bees will travel over that uh, over the new super that you added and hopefully draw it out so let's take a look it's been some very hot days lately actually let's look at the front entrance real quick very hot days lately which means brood production is you know at its peak and the heat should also help the bees uh, cure the honey or cure the cure the nectar into honey should I say so yeah here we go June 1st, hive number three. This was the swarm that I rescued and relocated out of Maysville, March 30th. And if you haven't gone back or if you haven't watched those videos, you should because they have done a phenomenal job. I initially put them into a five frame nuke. I had them in the nuke for two weeks. And within two weeks they were, I mean they were they were ready to move out and get put into a 10 frame and within two weeks they drew out the 10 frame so pretty phenomenal to see like how fast a swarm can work so yeah there we go looks like they may have been eating a little not a big deal but for the most part yeah that honey's looking nice. I am looking forward to harvesting this. Set that right there. So I have this as a 10 frame too. Uh, unlike the other supers that I'm running as 9 frames. So I don't really have to worry about spacing and everything, which is why I'll take a look at several of the super frames. Look at that. Like I said, top to bottom, left to right. I mean, just textbook. Textbook honey super right there. Every single frame. I was, you should watch that video from two weeks ago, from the last inspection, mid-May. I was absolutely floored when I opened this up. And I saw every single frame being filled out. Let's get to, let's jump to the last one. Since I said it, 
is acting as, as a sorry as a brood frame i'm just curious to see what's happened in the last two weeks with that if they've gone back and backfilled some of it now that i'm assuming most of the brood is probably hatched out there will be a lot of drones up here because of this frame here so like i was saying hopefully you can see this this is a foundationless frame so all this is 100 percent natural wax and you can see the bees actually you can see right there the fishing line i think it's like 50 pound test uh sorry right there so they completely went through and drew all this out there's a drone hatching right there hopefully you can see that you can see his eyes touching which is how you can determine it's a drone plus they're they're a lot larger let me see if i can find one there's one there in comparison to a worker bee so i think they will go back through and they might fill all this in with nectar too they're larger cells because they were um, mainly drone cells but so far it looks like they have done a nice job like at maintaining the honey super is what i was going to say got a little excited because i wanted to look at the very outside frame and that to me is a true test if the very outside frame is completely drawn out because the bees work from the center outward if your outside frames are drawn out you have a strong colony and probably a very full super all right let's get them put back together put back together I'm gonna to move this super aside set it on top of one of the other boxes so I can uh, take a look at the, the bottom super the new super that I gave them two weeks ago and this is a shallow and let's see so a medium will be about three pounds per frame so 30 pounds I'd say this is about two and a half, so yeah. I'd say that's about 20, 25 pounds. Easy. And I just close that up to kind of prevent swarming. I already see a good sign. Check this out. So one, we got some cross comb going on. But check that out. Look at that center frame right there. I could be mistaken, but they, I mean, they are still, they're working these. So let's see. Let's see how much they're working these frames. looking a few of those frames look there look like they're drawn out pretty nicely yeah that's not bad we still got about a month to go as far as the nectar flow is concerned and that's all new wax and they're packing some nectar in there same here yeah, they're working that good man I wish I, I can't I, I was gonna say I wish every colony was like this I couldn't even imagine if I had all my colonies performing like this brand new frame like I said so that's all new wax and that's all nectar and being cured into honey Let's take a look at the next frame the very center frame and then we'll get into the bottom box yeah capped honey full of nectar same thing on this side doing a nice job all right let's 
get them put back together, or put, get this box put back together. Get down into the, the brood chamber real quick and call it a day. enough. All right, let's do a quick check down in the, the brew box here. Man, that is sticky. ton of drones. This is the very first frame. Not much to really be concerned about. Beautiful cat brood. Hopefully you can see that. The very small white specks inside the cells. Those are eggs. So, oh wow, look at that. So I've said it before, if you pull the very first frame and you have nice beautiful brood like that, especially eggs. Not very much to worry about. They're definitely queen right. I do want to check the rest of the frames just to make sure they don't have any queen cells or anything weird going on. Because I'd hate to have uh, I'd hate to have a colony swarm that's this strong. There's the queen right there. And she is not marked. thing today or uh, during the last inspection cycle if you haven't watched that video. Well, you wouldn't know I was having problems with the queen catcher but that one extremely, extremely easy. Use my glove as a quick assist. Yeah, I thought she was marked, and she may have been marked. I'm not 100% sure, but she's doing a phenomenal job. All right, so I'm going to mark her real quick so I can give her time to dry. And then move through the rest of the frames relatively quickly. Get them put back together and, and call it a day. And she's, she's nice. She's big. y'all can see this. There we go. You just kind of push up the plunger, hold her steady between some of the slots there. Mark her up nicely. Just hold her there for a few seconds so she can dry. And just release the plunger, let her crawl around. By the time I get done with the rest of the frames, she'll be dry and be released. But I mean, she's doing a nice job. I mean, look. 
look at that. She's on a mission here. Look at that brood. A ton of eggs. I know you can't see this, but a ton of eggs up top here. Just checking quickly for swarm cells, super central cells. I don't know why these people would be displeased, but weirder things have happened. A lot of food, a lot of pollen on that side, same thing on this side, some brood on the left over here. Second to the last frame. Nice brood. There's a lot of pollen right there. Which is pretty common for the outside frame. Used as a food store. Alright, let's get them put back together. real quick, calm them down a little bit, and then uh, get the queen released. Alright, let's get her released, get the supers back on, and call it a day. Here we go. There she goes. Nice, nicely marked. All right, she's down in there. Let's do some heavy lifting. Take a look at the front. This should be interesting. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Ton of commotion. Post inspection of a strong colony.
drawn out a few frames, and they've packed away some nectar. So give them another two to three weeks, maybe the full month of June, and that might be another full honey super box. So between that hive and that medium and a shallow, 30, 55, anywhere from 55 to 60 pounds of honey off that one colony, which is absolutely fantastic. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Again, number three. Here, check out this angle. That's hive number three right there. They are a strong box of bees. Again, big shout out and thank you to the folks over in Maysville. They gave us a call to come to them. It was a relatively small cluster of bees uh, hanging from some trees. Dropped them into a five frame nuke if you haven't watched that video. Um, gosh, I didn't record that, I just took a few pictures because it was after dark. Uh, left them alone for two weeks, like I think I said in the beginning of this video. Filled out a nuke, put them in a 10 frame, filled out a 10 frame within two weeks, and then decided just to put a super on, filled out that super in two weeks. So they've, they've been absolute gangbusters, which is what you want this time of year. So hey, thanks for watching everybody. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notifications of future videos. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. We have a giveaway going on as soon as we hit 1,000 followers on uh, IG. So if you don't follow us, check out the page, Coles Farm NC. You can use the uh, social media icons on our YouTube homepage up in the banner. It'll take you right to our Instagram or Facebook. But yeah, check it out. Give us a follow, give us a like, and subscribe. We take it as a uh, your it's your way of saying thanks for the, the content that we share. And it is hot. And I got a few more hugs to go. Alright, tune back in uh, come mid-June to see how number three does with uh, the meeting box. Hopefully they fill that thing out and I can pull some boxes and stuff. Uh, we'll make a post when we do have honey for sale. Right now we don't. We sold out a few months ago, but we're pretty good at, uh, at sharing via social media when we have some honey available. Okay, that does it for me. Like I said, I've got a few hops to go, and that's a wrap for this week. Thanks for watching, everybody.